Okay, so let me just give you a quick overview of what the AEC4D does. Let's dive right in to Cinema and let me just add AEC4D to my layout here and maybe just add a camera, yeah, three cubes and just hit the button. Boom! You have the camera and the three cubes and After Effects and no keyframes of course in this case but let me just go back maybe add a vibrate tag to get a quick animation for this little cube select them all again hit the button boom and now your cube is animated we have two ways to export objects to After Effects the first and most obvious option, of course, is just selecting two objects, hitting the button, and you're in After Effects and have your objects there. But of course, you can export the old AEC way, and for that, I need to add an external compositing tag and maybe add an external compositing tag to this cube as well. And if I select no object in the scene and hit the button, only those objects will be exported. So these two cubes and the camera, of course. And if you have a, a little bit longer of the icon, you can see the options. Control click for the settings menu and shift click to import into active comp. So let me maybe edit this cube, whatever, put it here. Okay, this is my cube. Still the viral tag on it, but I want to export this cube into my active comp. So I hit shift and the button, go to After Effects, and there you have your new placed cube inside of After Effects, right into your active comp. Okay, so here I have another example um, where we work with dynamics and um, we follow one of the dynamics. So let's go back into the settings first. Set the anchor point to the center is okay. Maybe I just want 50 pixels for now. And I want to evaluate the caches, which is a little bit slower, but in this case, it's totally fine. And uh, we have to check this if we are working with uh, MoGraph Dynamics, etc. So okay and i want to export the camera the null and maybe the plane as a reference for the floor and hit the button boom now you have your animated null and after effects okay so let's try something different maybe duplicate this guy use another index and another index as well so we have three animated nodes. Go into the settings and we want to export to C6. And yeah, let's keep the scale at 50 for now. We want to evaluate the caches again because of the MoGraph dynamics and at the anchor point of the center. Hit OK. And now I want to Add a camera and export those objects. Boom. Now you are inside of After Effects C6 and you have your animated nodes right there. Again, if you would export without any object selected, in this case, you would only export the camera. Let's do that for now. So you have only the camera in here and maybe add an external compositing just to show you that you will export this object if you have no objects selected. Okay, I think that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions, just go to ascripts.com to the product page and 
drop me a line there and I hope you can answer the questions. Okay, bye bye.